you know those most basic meals that people underrate a lot those meals that people think that it is really nothing because of the little you just need these little ingredients to make them i think that's where potato porridge fall in hmm? because we need to speak we need to preach about potato porridge more it is so delicious it's sweet it is yummy and it is very easy to make so why, why are we not making it so much like yam porridge and the rest of it my friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make the most delicious the most del I, i'm beating my chest the most delicious potato porridge ever with the fewest and most basic ingredients you don't need so much to make it and this recipe is so detailed and you with this recipe with the at the end of this video you'll be able to make potato porridge by yourself in the most yummiest way ever so without so much being said please hit the subscribe button the notification bell beside the subscribe button just click it subscription is for free subscription is for free so that you will be the first to get notified when i upload a new video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and just drop your suggestions in the comment section if you recreate this recipe or any of my recipe please don't forget to send me feedback on all social media platforms i am chef timmy on all social media platforms and without so much being said let's go through the ingredients and for this recipe we'll be making use of some beef and i'll be using some tomato some cayenne pepper also known as bawa some habanero pepper we'll be making use of vegetable oil in this recipe some seasoning cube and salt we'll be making use of some saint leaf you can choose to add ugu if you like but i'll be using saint leaf for this recipe i have this leftover corned beef at home and i'll be making use of it but this is not this is not necessarily important it is not so important if you can afford to fine if you love it fine but if you don't love it or if you don't have it available at the moment you can just keep that i'll be making use of of course the potato and i'll be garnishing it with some fried plantains then of course some water so let's just get right into cooking we'll be boiling the meat first because we'll be making use of the meat stock so i just have little meat available and i'll be making do of that so we'll be boiling the meat first with zero water added i'll be seasoning with just a seasoning cube first and a pinch of salt no this this is this is more than a pinch of salt actually but season to taste please yeah, just there to combine and cover and allow to cook in its own juice first before we incorporate water into it while our meat is busy cooking let's proceed to blend our pepper mix and for our pepper mix we will be blending the tomato the cayenne pepper habanero and the crayfish with some onions but this is the trick if you don't want to add water while blending your pepper all you have to do is make sure the tomato is the first thing you are putting in the blender that way the juice from the tomato helps to blend the rest of the pepper because tomato has a lot of water content in it so the water content in the tomato helps to blend the rest of the pepper do you understand so let's just add in our tomato to it i don't want to add any water because i will still be frying the pepper mix in oil while cooking the potato porridge um, base so i don't want to add more water to it because i want to fry it and i and if i add more water to it the longer time it fries do you understand because we want to dry up the water on heat so let's just go in with our tomatoes i'm going to be blending the tomatoes with some cayenne pepper habanero pepper and some crayfish the use of the cayenne pepper is to give it that reddish color you love to see in your porridge the reddish color of your porridge is what the cayenne pepper is used for so i'm going to be using some cayenne pepper habanero and some crayfish for flavor i'm sure by now our meat will be properly cooked so let's just check it out and go to the next step i said it because i was perceiving the smell it is 
dried already and because it is dried and there's no single water in it i'll just i don't want to take it off the pot because of stress i'm just going to go in with vegetable oil into the meat at this point you can let your meat fry a little bit but i don't want my meat to be dried fried so i'm just going to put my vegetable oil into the meat and going straight with my pepper mix i'm trying to make a pepper base for the meat so i'm going to be seasoning it up with some seasoning cube and salt give that a very good stir and allow everything combined to each other i'm just going to cover this and allow to fry so that i'm not going to be tasting the sour taste of the pepper mix the tomato and the everything so i'm just going to allow this to fry now we we'll need to peel our potatoes and i really needed to sit down to peel these potatoes because i really don't enjoy peeling potatoes potatoes is sweet but i really don't enjoy peeling it so let's get into work and after a few minutes honestly i was not checking time but let's just say after five minutes of frying on medium heat our tomatoes and pepper is properly fried and by now the pepper sauce will have penetrated into the meat so i'm just going to take that off the heat now is the best time to add in your corned beef if you'll be using corned beef for your porridge but corned beef is not necessary but if you are going to be using corned beef now is the best time to add in your corned beef so that the corned beef can fry together with the pepper mix and every sad taste or raw taste in the corned beef and the pepper mix will leave and it will blending together now i'll go in with the sweet potatoes already washed and cut into big chunks i'll be boiling it with water and i'll allow this to, to cook till the potatoes is very soft now that our potato porridge is on fire let's begin to peel our plantain in preparation to fry the plantain i love plantain so much plantain is like it's literally my best food so i love to pair plantain with anything i eat and it's not necessary that you add plantain to your dish but because i have plantain available i choose to utilize it for the potato porridge to stand as a perfect side for my potato porridge after 15 minutes of cooking let's check our potatoes Oh um, uh, the aroma of this food. In fact, my neighbor just knocked now and asked me what am I cooking because hey, I did cook a bed. This is it's smelling delicious already. I have not tasted it and I already know that this is going to bank. What you want to do now is mash your potatoes. If you love your porridge, your um solids in your porridge being mashed. All you have to do is just use your spoon to press it down just like this and it's going to be perfect but if you don't like mashing your potatoes or yam in your porridge all you have to do is just set to combine and serve look at the color and how good it looks who would have ever thought that it was made with vegetable oil and not palm oil that is the power of cayenne pepper in your pepper mix so now we're going to be finishing it up with some saint leaf for aroma you can leave that or just add in that and let's fry our plantain don't burn your plantain or we'll stay with your plantain while it fries till golden brown and just scoop it out of the oil when it is golden brown potato porridge and plantain always make a very perfect match if you've not tried it before this is your sign that you should try it out sweet delicious a little bit spicy but not so spicy the pepper and the crayfish and the saint leaf the potato and the plantain a perfect combination you really want to try these recipes my friends ah this food is delicious the peppered pomo and meat was very very soft 
the beef stock married the crayfish very well and it tasted so good it tasted great please save this recipe try it out your family and friends will love it and if you try out this recipe don't forget to send me feedback on instagram i am chef kemi and please just take one minute of your time or one second of your time to hit that subscribe button now don't forget to give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell right beside the subscribe button share like comment do the necessary things i love you so much you already know that right until next time see you bye i love you Mwah.